best app for sending money to Philippines from US. So I have been using this software for almost a decade actually. I have traveled the whole world using this. I pay my whole team using this. I have had my card skimmed and I had to contact support to get refunds and all of that. So I'll tell you all of my experiences and also some of the main things that you need to understand to decide whether this is a good choice for you. And by the way, I have a special discount. You'll get first free transfer completely. You don't need to pay anything up to $500. So check out the link below. So this is called Wise before known as TransferWise. And the really the part that's going to blow your mind is basically how other banks work and how sneaky they really are. And I can tell you this is the case with every single bank. If you look here at the transfer fees, basically WISE shows you, okay, let's say we're transferring 1000 USD and they show you exactly, okay, this is what their fees are. So in this case, let's say it's going to be $7 if we're transferring to Filipino pesos, obviously it depends on the currency. And they also show you, okay, um, here you have like some additional fees. So in total, you have almost $10 in fees and they show you, okay, this is the rate that they're going to guarantee for the next eight hours. By the way, I created a blueprint for the best business model out there, so check the description. And if you just look at the fee, compared to your bank, it might actually seem like the fee is higher. I know I have a, another European bank, I have American bank, and the fees seem to be lower, but the reason there's a reason why they seem to be lower because banks are really sneaky so actually if we go here to compare the fees you will see a couple of examples so this is a good example because i transfer my whole team in the philippines and i do filipino pesos so for example here from one thousand dollars if i use wise they are going to receive fifty five thousand whereas if i use something like western union they receive 54. By the way, I have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there. Check the link below. And actually, if I open this, the interesting part is if you look at the transfer fee, they show that the transfer fee is only $1. So, you know, at the beginning, you might think, okay, this transfer fee is $10. This is only $1, so Western Union in the first glance, at the first glance should be cheaper. However, where they get you, and this is, I checked this with all of my different banks, and I know in general it is the case with everything. Exchange rates is where they get you. They just give you way higher exchange rate, and then when you combine the transfer fee plus the exchange rate, the markup that they created, then you have in total a much higher transfer fee. As you can see now, it becomes $21 instead of basically $10. And PayPal is absolutely horrible. As you can see, um, you only get 52,000. So basically you pay $50, $53 for the transfer of just $1,000. That is quite a bit. So again, if I'm sending this, uh, well, I basically I send it to my team so they just receive more money, but obviously it just costs you less if you're sending to someone. So the other thing I like about TransferWise is that it's very quick. So as you can see, this says it should arrive by Tuesday, uh, but now it's actually Monday evening, 10 p.m. So uh, usually it takes, it usually arrives within, I would say, depends on the country where you're sending it, but sometimes it's instant. So if other people have a Wise account, and I'm not going to show you my logins now, but basically you have your Wise tag and you can just just do instant transfer between wise accounts and it doesn't cost anything but even sending to different bank accounts and again i've been sending money to accounts in all of the different types of countries and usually it doesn't really take much longer than a couple of hours sometimes it takes maybe a few hours maximum so for me honestly just the fact how much money i can save that is a complete no-brainer that i need to use wise but aside from that as well another really cool thing is that 
you can basically have these different account details. So basically I can have account details for, as you can see, all of these different currencies, basically money in those different currencies. And you can see where you can send money. You can basically send money. I mean, in the bunch of different countries. So then I haven't yet personally came across some issues yet where I can't send money and you can hold and convert money. So the cool thing here is that, for example, let's say that I work perhaps with people in different countries and I'm receiving money from different countries, but I might also be sending that the money to different countries. Let's say my main account is USD or Euro, but sometimes I work with people in the UK, so I'll use British pounds as well. So it doesn't really make sense for me to receive British pounds and convert them to euros and then later on send them back in british pounds and then do another conversion so basically do two different conversions and pay fees for that rather than that what i can do is i can just create basically bank account details for british pounds and i can hold i can receive my money in british pounds hold them in british pounds and when i need to i can spend them directly so i don't need to be doing all of these extra exchanges whereas with most regular bank accounts you're just going to have let's say usd euro or australian dollar whatever it is the top up to the account is really easy as well for example i just press to add money and i can choose okay uh, what kind of method I want to use so I can just do bank transfer, which doesn't cost anything. I don't know whether this is for every single country or maybe the first, but definitely very cheap, if not free. And then if I want, I can also use my bank card. There is a fee for the bank card. However, that arrives within seconds, even though the bank transfer is super fast as well. Again, it just takes a few hours and that's it. And they have a couple other options also. And by the way, the transfers are super simple as well. You can transfer to anyone's bank account. You just need their bank details and that is pretty much it. Another thing as well as real convenient is they have the mobile app so you can do everything that you need on the phone. And the nice thing as well is that if you want, they just have a button to freeze your card. So if you see that something happened, you lost your card, whatever it is, you can just freeze your card. And also they have a virtual card. So you can create a virtual card and just have that on your your phone without having a physical card and especially if you let's say lose your physical card which has happened to me before I freeze it right away and then I just create a virtual card and I can keep on using it and this is the card the one little note is that not every single country can get a card so check I'll leave some of the links where you can check whether you can get the card or not Another thing as well is when you travel with WISE, the nice thing is that you, when you take out money from ATM, they actually allow you to take out around $200 from the ATM without any fees. And after that, you need to pay fees, but the fees are actually still way better than any other bank account. And again, the exchange rate is way, way, way better. They are also a very secure option. So <laughs> I know I created an account for my parents as well, and they were a little bit sketched out at first because they didn't want to create a foreign bank account, but it's a big company. You can look it up. They have been out there for a while and they are, they go through certain steps where they need to prove, you know, that everything is legit and all of that kind of stuff. And when it comes to basically theft and all of those type of things, as I mentioned before, I had my card skimmed and actually, uh, luckily enough, I usually don't hold too much money on my, in my wise account. I just kind of like transfer it when I need, I just top it up because it's so easy. But when I had it skimmed, I just saw a bunch of payments come out from my account. So I managed to freeze the card before all of the payments went out. But I don't remember, I think a few hundred dollars were spent or something like that. And I just contacted their support and just told them, hey, this has happened. And right away, they sorted everything out. They actually didn't ask me for anything. I think they could just see that it's maybe exactly same payment going out. But right away, they just sorted it out, transferred the money back. Uh, they canceled my car because they said I can't use it anymore, obviously. But I just ordered a new card and got it in a couple of weeks. By the way, they also have a business account that you can create. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing here, but basically, as he said, I use this for my team as well. So making the transfers just makes it much cheaper if you're working with people abroad. And also, if you want, you can share 
accounts within your team. You can create recurring payments to make sure that you don't miss anything. You can schedule out payments and there's a bunch of other stuff as well. You can give access to your team, to some of your bank accounts, so on and so forth. So if you don't use WISE yet, I honestly don't know why you shouldn't. It's a huge money saver and it's just so easy to use. And as I said, I will leave a link where you can get free your free transfer for the first time. So check that out below.